Hello everyone. Welcome back to our probability statistics lecture series. We have discussed few discrete type random variable. Namely, we discussed about binomial random variable, Poisson random variable, then geometric random variable. In this lecture, we'll discuss about the negative binomial distribution. So, uh, in the geometric uh, random variable, in the geometric distribution, what we did, we did, uh, we performed the Bernoulli trial until we get a success. Her probability of success was B, right? Now, here in this case, the same thing, we'll do the Bernoulli trials, independent Bernoulli trials, where it outcomes are either success or failure, and we'll do it successively. Probability of success in each case, it is P, right? Probability of success in each case, it is P. And we will perform it until we get R number of success, right? Until we get R number of success. So we'll perform these trials until we a total of R success is accumulated. So if you let X equal the number of trials required in this case, then what should be its probability mass function? First of all, let us understand that we will have, we will perform the Bernoulli trials, we will perform the trials until we get R number of success. So whenever we will get the Rh success, then we will stop. Right? So if X equals the number of success required to get R number of success, what this random variable X will take the values. See, to get the R number of success, at least you need to perform R times, right? So to get the R, so the, if you are too lucky, in the first R trials, you will get R number of success, possible, right? So X will take the values, it will start from R, at least you need R. Then it can take R plus one number of trials to get R success or R plus two, or R plus three, like that, it can take a very big number, right? So therefore, the random variable will take the values R, R plus one, R plus two up to, it can goes up to infinity. Now, you have this, X will take these values. Now, suppose that uh, you need to perform n number of trials to get the R success. What will be its probability? So basically, P of what is this probability? X is equal to N. That means you need to perform n number of trials to get the R success, first R success. So understand that if at the nth trial, if you are getting Rh success, what does it mean? that up to n minus 1th trial, you got r minus 1 number of success. And that can be any places, right? But nth trial, you should get the success, rth success, right? So nth trial, rth success. So therefore, before that, up to n minus 1th trial, you should have r minus 1 number of success and that can be just a like it's a selection so how many ways it is possible n minus 1 into r minus n minus 1 in trial you have to get r minus 1 in success how many ways it is possible yes it is n minus 1 c r minus ways it is possible correct and now that r to get the r success in this n number of trial you have to get r success how many ways, it, what is the probability of that? It is P to the power R into one minus P whole to the power N minus R. Right? So therefore, in case of a negative binomial distribution, probability mass function is P of X equal to N is N minus one C R minus one P to the power R one minus P whole to the power N minus R. Where N takes the values, n is equal to r, r plus 1, r plus 2, and it can go up to infinity. <clears throat> I hope it is clear. 
so because you have to get the first r success and suppose the trial required that n number of trial required that means what in it trial you must have r it success so before that how they are distributed you it's like how they you got the uh, r minus 1 number of success in n minus 1 trial it does not matter so it, you have to select them right select this uh, that how many ways it can be done in minus 1 cr minus 1 and to get the r it's r success it is p to the power r and n minus r failure 1 minus p whole to the power n minus r therefore the probability mass function will be this one right so uh, therefore we can have the probability mass function is in case of a negative binomial distribution it is this one and for x is equal to for any other value it will be zero now how can you ensure you can again if you take the summation of all the values you will get the sum value is one therefore it ensures that that it is a probability mass function <coughs> and therefore if we write down the definition a random variable which takes on values r r plus one r plus two up to infinity and whose probability mass function is given by p of i equal to i minus i minus one r c r minus one p to the power r i minus one minus p whole to the power i minus r i, I runs from r r plus one r plus two like that and equal to zero otherwise for some p belongs to zero one because it's a probability is called a negative random negative binomial random variable with parameters r comma p right now you see the we have discussed the geometric random variable also right so what was that we will perform the trials until we get one success so that was a particular case of this one right so if you have r is equal to one if you have r is equal to one what will happen it is p of i is equal to small p of i is equal to i minus 1 c r minus 1 right so i minus 1 c 0 that will give 1 into p to the power 1 into 1 minus p whole to the power i minus 1 but that is exactly our uh, that was exactly our uh, geometric random variable probability mass function of where i should be from 1, 2, 3, up to infinity. So, therefore, what we understand that negative binomial distribution is a generalized version of geometric random variable. So, geometric random variable is a special case of this negative random variable, negative uh, binomial distribution for r equal to 1. I hope it is clear. Okay. Now, like everything, like every other distribution, we can able to find the expectation and the variance of a negative random variable right for that what one can do that you can generally find that e of x to the power k e of x to the power k one can find and this value you can get it uh, that you after doing certain calculation you will get this value is uh, this one and you have written it in terms of expectation of y minus one whole to the power k minus one Right, where y is a random variable with parameter r plus 1 comma p. So, like successively one can do that. So, you, if you are interested, you may look for its explanation. Right, now once you get e for e to expectation of x power k, then k equal to 1 will give you the actual expectation. So, you remember for this negative binomial random variable, expectation is equal to r by p. Whereas in case of a in case of a uh, geometric random variable, it was one by p, but it is a particular case, so it is r by p. <coughs> and similarly, we can um, able to find the e of x square, which is this value. And after putting it in the variance formula, and if after simplifying this, we can get this value is r into one minus p by p square. So expectation is one by r by p and variance is r into one minus p divided by p square. Right now we are interested about solving some example and identify that whether it will how you will identify that it is a negative binomial distribution it will fall. Let's see. Look at this problem. 
if the probability is 0 0.40 that a child exposed to a certain contagious diseases will catch it. That means a child will catch a certain disease which is a contagious with a probability 0 0.40. Then what is the probability that the 10th child exposed to the disease will be the third child to catch it. Now the probability of a child get exposed to a, the disease is 0 0.40, right? So you pick a child and check whether the child have this disease or not, right? Again, you pick another child and check like that. So in this way, you will perform this experiment. And how long you will perform? You will perform that until you get three number of a child to catch it, right? So it is looks like it will follow the negative random variable. That means you will do the experiment until you get uh, three number of success. Here success means a child is exposed to a, to a certain contagious disease, right? So therefore it will follow the uh, negative binomial random, negative binomial distribution. And we all know that uh, the probability mass function of P is over. So P of, okay, just a minute. So we know that in this case, probability mass function was P of X is equal to N is equal to N minus one, C R K minus one. So probability of K number of success, if we collect, then P to the power K into one minus P whole to the power N minus K, where K takes the value where n takes the value as a k, k plus 1, k plus 2 up to infinity. Now the question says that the probability that the 10th child exposed to the disease will be the third child. That means you have to perform the experiment 10th times, right? And until you get you have to perform this 10th uh, time until you get the third success. That means what? Here n is equal to, here, here uh, n equal to 10 and the k is equal to 3, right? So if you put it, so therefore p of x is equal to 10. So 10 times you have to perform it to get the three number of success. It is 10 minus 1 c, k is 3, so c2 or maybe I can write uh, 3 minus 1 just for one more step. And P to the power K. P is what? 0 0.40. That means probability of success, which is the uh, success means here the child uh, have the disease. Into P to the power K means it is 3 into 1 minus 0 0.40 whole to the power N minus K. That means 10 minus 3. And therefore it is 9C2, 0 0.40 whole to the power 3 into 0 0.60 whole to the power 7. And if you use the calculator, you'll be getting this value is approximately 0 0.0643. So what we understood from that, so you have to perform 10 number of trials to get the third success. So from there itself, we understand that it will follow the negative binomial distribution. Fine. Okay. Let us do one more example. Yeah, this one we have already done. This example, you look at that. The whole solution is written. And next one more example we want to do. A soccer player has a 50% chance of scoring a goal each time they take a shot then what is the probability that they score their third goal on the eighth attempt? So again, you will understand that. So whenever a soccer player will take a shot, either the player will score a goal or not score a goal, right? So scoring a goal means it is a success and it is 50% chance. That means probability is one by two. Right? So probability of success P is equal to 1 by 2. 50% means 1 by 2. Now the question is what is the probability that they score their third goal on the eighth attempt? Third goals means what? 
so before the at the eighth attempt the player has to do the third one that means up to seventh at attempt up to seventh mm, shot he or she has to perform two goals then in eighth one he or she has to do the third one so definitely it will follow the negative random negative binomial distribution right and we know the probability mass function is p of x is equal to n that means here n is the number of uh, short required and it was n minus 1 c k minus 1 small p to the power k 1 minus p whole to the power n minus k where n takes the values for n is equal to k k plus 1 k plus 2 like that now if for this particular example e, the player need to have 8 score 8 8 short that means here n equal to 8 and uh, third goal that means third uh, success like you that player has to do the uh, three num has to get the three number of success so therefore k is equal to three and p already we have written p is equal to 50 percent so it is one by two and let us put the value so the required probability is p of x is equal to eight is equal to n minus one ck so it is seven c2 1 by 2 whole to the power 3 into 1 minus p which is again 1 by 2 whole to the power 8 minus 3 so it is 5 and then we can get it 7 c2 into 1 by 2 to the power 8 and if you just uh, simplify it using calculator it is 0 0.08 into 2031 something like that right so it's very easy once you understand that which distribution this will follow which random variable you have to take after that the problem is very easy after that it is just a formula so we have to realize according to the problem we have to realize which distribution it will follow so whenever so now the four type of discrete random variable we have done right actually five Bernoulli binomial Poisson and then uh, geometric and the uh, negative binomial so each has different kind of characteristic according to your problem you have to realize which type of discrete random variable it is right so the content of this talk we have uh, mostly taken from this book seldom draws and few more examples we have taken from other books as well right so uh, i hope these videos are helpful for you i hope you enjoyed we'll meet in the next video thank you very much